I was speaking somewhere on the same subject and I told the women, the wives, I said, you have to come to a place of telling yourself, because I'm in his life, he will succeed. Are, are you getting the point? Because I am his wife, he will succeed. Whatever endeavor, whatever field of business, whatever thing he is into, God has put him in. Because I am in his life, he will succeed. And you say this with confidence, knowing that Jesus is with you. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will start with your man to succeed. I mean, you look at your man and you tell him, Ali, you will succeed in life because I'm your wife. Amen. You will succeed. You will never fail. I am your wife. You know, that is the kind of a woman every man wants to marry. Are you getting it? But like I said two weeks ago, the problem with marriages today is because, you know, is that we, we marry on the basis of our culture and tradition. That is not in line with God's word. And so the woman God gets into the marriage and she has already been poisoned by relations. <laughs> Are you getting it? Like I said the other time, that the lady is going to go into her marriage and, and they sit her down and say, listen to me, men cannot be trusted. So as you are going, be careful. Be careful, men cannot be trusted. Open your eyes. And when they tell you to open your eyes, while your eyes are not closed, you know what they are telling you. Are you understanding me? And so the woman gets into the marriage with this at the back of her mind. That men cannot be trusted. So now she is, she's not open to the man. And she begins to do secret things the man doesn't have any idea. Are you getting it? Like a man told me some time ago that she never knew her wife was so wicked. I said, what did she do? She said, Pastor, do you, can you believe that it just came to my notice? My wife has just finished a building with her mother in their village and I have no clue about it. And I said, well, um, I really don't know this woman you call a wife, but... Uh, if she is able to do that, then uh, the two of you need <laughs> serious counseling. <laughs> you understand? Now, that tells me the mother is not a good mother. Because a good Christian mother will never, ever do that. Never. But today we have mothers that are not Christians, and their daughters are going into marriages, and they put all kinds of ideas into their minds. And so the woman goes, gets into the home and immediately she becomes a problem to the man. Because she would rather obey the mother instead of the husband. And that is demonic. That is unscriptural. A lot of funny things are going on in the churches among wives. We have wives that have no respect, no iota of respect for their husbands, yet they will bow down to their pastor. That is hypocritical. Are you getting it? Uh, there was a time uh, a pastor and I were discussing something about marriage, and he told me something funny, and I said, that pastor is sick. We have to take the Bible from him and let him go get a work and do. Get some secular job and do. You understand? A lady is in your church fighting with her husband, She's not respecting the husband. She won't even cook for the husband. And she cooks and prepares everything and take it to the pastor. And the pastor will sit down, God bless you. We need women like you and eat the food. What kind of a pastor are you? She's not cooking for her husband. And she cooks for you. Because you are called a pastor. Are you understanding me? But all these things are going on. And some pastors are encouraging it. You understand? But it is unscriptural. It is wrong. It is a sin before God. You know, so if wives will understand why they are in their husband's life, they will, they, and, and, and adhere to God's principle concerning marriage, their husbands will love them with all their heart. Listen to me, beautiful wife that are here this morning. I'm a man and I know what I'm talking about. It is the easiest thing you can do is to win your husband's heart. That, that's the easiest thing. But the enemy has made people think it's the difficulty because they have poisoned people's minds. They, they've, you know, they, they've inculcated it into people, uh, the, the minds of the wife that, you know, these, these men are difficult. Men are difficult. You can't handle, no matter what you do, men, all men are the same. All men are the same. I told one lady, I said, swallow that word back. What do you mean all men are the same? I'm not like your husband. You know, but people buy into all these slogans. All men are the same. No man is faithful. Who told you that? 
Why are you believing the lies of the devil? And that makes you become a bad wife in your home. Oh, but you are not a bad wife, Jesus name. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. You know, so if ye are willing and obedient, if ye are willing, if ye are willing, so the, the wife must understand, I'm a blessing to my man. I came into his life to make him become the man. Now, wife, listen, you can make your husband become the man you want him to become. <coughs> are you understanding me? You can make it very easy for your husband to love you. Very easy. That is the easiest thing any good Christian wife can do. You make it very easy for your husband to love you. And how do you do that? In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, from verse 22, the Bible says, Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. So you see here, God is not a cheat. God told the man, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And he's telling the woman, submit unto your husband, as unto the Lord. So we are both doing it as unto him. And like I said the other time, it is not your husband that wrote this in the Bible. It is God. And so you are doing it as an obedience to God, not your husband. So if you tell me my husband is that mad, he is that difficult, so I will not submit. Then you are telling God, God, I won't obey you. Because God wrote this, and this is an instruction that must be obeyed. It's not a suggestion. It's not an admonition. It is a command. Why? Submit yourself to your own husband. Now, co consider the, 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 the choice of words. Your own husband. So, on what grounds can you disrespect your husband and respect your pastor? <laughs> Are you getting the point? Your own husband. Your own husband. Submit unto your own husband. So don't tell me, I love my pastor, but I don't love my husband. That woman is sick in the head. <coughs> because what she's doing is unscriptural. It's not right. Today, some people treat, so women will treat their, I mean, like they hear pastor, a certain pastor is in town, they'll be shaking, running around, they will even call off from work to serve the pastor. I'm not saying it is wrong, but this is it. If you are not doing more than that to your husband, then it is wrong to do that. You can do it for the rest of your life, you will see one blessing from God, because you have turned God's word upside down. So it must be unto your own husband first. Your own husband first. You know, but today, the enemy is, is deceiving people into, into thinking, or deceiving wives into thinking that it is foolishness to do that. Because we are living in a very sophisticated world. You know, and... and you know, we, we have all these laws going on, you know, equality with man and all those things. And so now the woman and the man are equal. Well, that is in the eyes of, you know, of the world. But before God, it is not like that. And the word of God has not changed and will never change. And so you want to marry your husband on the basis of the laws of the world. Then what happens to the world will happen in your home. But that will not happen to anybody here in Jesus' name. Amen. You understand? So, as a Christian wife, you marry your husband on the basis of God's word. On the basis of God's word. So, I am a help me to my husband. I am a help me. If my husband fails, it's because I'm not a good wife. But praise God, I'm a good wife. My husband will succeed. My husband. And so, every day you go down on your knees. Father, I receive the grace to be to be that, that Bible wife, that good wife, that, that Christian wife. God, I give me the grace. Empower me to be that wife. You are not the wife that marry on the grounds of materialism. Or you only respect your husband if he buys you a bright new car on your birthday. Or she gave you some big money for shopping. Then that is the day you'll be singing.